Okay, so I want to make a video about how to make a copy, do, and turn in your classwork in um, Google Classroom. So first I went to the classroom and the classwork tab at the top, and then um, I'm going to talk about this assignment here. And the first thing I want to mention is a lot of people are going straight to the attachments and skipping over the view assignments. Sometimes there is instructions here that are important for you to be successful at the assignment. So I want you to get you in the habit of instead of just going straight to the PDF or whatever attachments there are, get used to going to view assignment first, because then you will have all the information you need to complete the work. In this case, it, there's not too much there, but um, sometimes there's a whole sentences that tell you what you need to do. Um, and in this case, um, I'm going to start making it so that the work is not attached because a lot of people are just um, seeing that there's something attached and saying turn in. And that's not what you want to do because that doesn't show that you've done any work and you will get it sent back and it will show up as missing. So I want um, instead of doing that for you, you're going to have to do it for yourselves from now on until um, I don't get those assignments that are turned in blank. So in order to turn in this, I'm going to have to open up the PDF and I'm going to go open with Cami. And because I haven't made a copy of it, as soon as I go to do some work on it, it's going to ask me if that's what I want to do. So I'm going to start off with my text box and I'm going to put, yeah. So now it's going to say the owner of this document has not granted you permission to edit this file to edit, create your own copy. So now I'm going to create a copy. And that'll happen automatically as soon as you start to edit something on there. And if I go back to the assignment, oh, it doesn't show yet, but maybe when I do some work on there. So now I'm going to type and then I'll do I'll keep going with text boxes. And also, I noticed some people are using the drawing a whole lot and trying to do um, like this. It's a whole lot easier. I mean, that's not too bad, but it's a whole lot easier to just go and select a text box. And then you can just click here and then do the correct letter. And then it looks a whole lot nicer. And I don't have to figure out what letter it is that you're trying to write there. So I'd encourage you to use a text box when possible. And um, if you need the shapes, some people are also doing this makes it a little harder for me to grade, but I haven't graded any of them wrong yet. Something like this is another option, but they give you these lines for a reason. So I'd encourage you to use those. Okay, so I just wanted to talk about that really quick. Now let's pretend I'm done and I finished the whole test, all both pages. So now I'm going to go up here and you'll see this blue bar across the top. Okay, and you're going to click on save and download. And that'll save it to your um, Chromebook. And that way, if there's any problems, if it um, gets lost in the ether, you've got it saved on your Chromebook and you don't have to redo it. You can just upload it again from your device. So you don't need to download again if it's showing up here. So now I'm going to go back to my independent work. I'm going to go to add or create. I'm going to click file. Upload. And then it should show up in my download. So Kami export, that's the one that I have been working on and it says today. So that's the only one that I've worked on today. So I'm going to open that up and it will attach it to the assignment here. And if I don't finish it all at once, I can always click on it again, open with Kami again and finish the assignment, but it's already attached. So even if you don't finish, at least I can see what you have done. So you can even attach, save it and then attach it blank as long as you go back and you finish it. So you can attach it and then once it's finished here, then you can click turn in. Okay, so wait until it's all the way complete and then click turn in. If you just attach it here, 
and you click turn in, you have not done the work that's on the page, I will not put a grade on it. I'll send it back to you and it will show up as missing in your work. And then nobody's happy because your parents see it and I see it and um, it's not going to help your grade at all. So um, that's how to make a copy, do the work in Kami, and add it to the Google Classroom assignment. You don't need to send me an email. You don't need to link it to, you don't need to take a screenshot. You just save it to your um, desktop and then you can import it straight to um, the assignment. It'll add on as long as you go add or create and file. And then you're going to go to, remember, uploads. And it should be in your downloads file on your computer. Okay, so that's how that is done. Thanks so much.